Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host, Rob Bentley, and thanks for tuning in. On today's show, we'll update you on Ferris State hockey. We'll check in with the Red Hot Ferris State men's basketball team, and we'll touch base with Bulldog track and field. We'll start with Bulldog hockey and joined by assistant coach Justin Dima Martino. And uh, Justin, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I know before we get into the highlights of this past weekend, uh, you're a former Bulldog player alum who came back as an assistant this year. Just, just talk about what it's been like. It's been awesome. You know, I was very thankful that Bob and obviously his coaching staff were willing to have me, you know, come back this year. And I'm having a blast so far, learning a lot more than you would as a player, you know, different side of things. And I'm very thankful for the opportunity they gave me. This past weekend, obviously, a long road trip out to Bemidji State. Uh, the WCHA leader uh, ranked 18th in the country. Just just talk about how long uh, that, that trip was for some of the fans that haven't been out there. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite a ride. My first year at We played, actually, we didn't split up the trip. We went straight through from Big Rapids to Bemidji. That was, a, that was a haul. So this time we split up. We stopped in Ashland on the way there. Got a skate in and practice, and then we continued our way to Bemidji. Say that, you know, great, great uh, town there, great rank especially. And, you know, we were, came out with a split, you know, not exactly what we wanted. We wanted to sweep after winning the first game. But, you know, all in all, it was a pretty good weekend. Their guys played hard, and I thought they played pretty well. We'll go to some of the highlights. Uh, we'll start with the Friday night game. And uh, you mentioned a, a big 5-2 to two victory. Got off to a great start. Gerald Mayhew will get the, the early goal, goal, and he's been a guy that's uh, been scoring for you early in uh, the last few games. Yeah, you know, if you watch this play here, Joe Rutkowski actually does a great job with showing patience here and not getting rid of the puck. Um, then he obviously gave it to Corey Mack and he found Gerald, you know, on the good spot there in the backside to play work on practice often too. Got some great scoring uh, from, from your seniors, uh, Gerald Mayhew, Chad McDonald, Jared Van Warmer, all with the uh, big nights here in the first game. Yeah, I mean, obviously when you go on the road, you want to put on a, a good show, especially, you know, come up playing hard. And we had our guys, you know, come up and score some big goals. We haven't scored, you know, five goals often, if, if at all this year. So it's been, that was a relief, and especially for our goaltending, you know, to get some, get some goals there. Obviously, we could have had another one here, Corey Mack, and he had a heck of a game, so that's, it was tough to see that one, but it's all right because, you know, obviously we battled back and Kappel Master kept us in the game, too, so that was good. Got off to the early 1-0 uh, lead after the opening period, and then in the second period, uh, we'll see Jason Tackett get the, get the second goal to put you up 2-0. to zero. Yeah, right here is actually a play work on quite a lot in practice where we drive wide on the defenseman and we shoot that puck to the far pad. Colpin created a rebound, and that's exactly what happened, and Tackett was there to uh, finish it off. Obviously, uh, Bemidji State uh, having a great season. Uh, just talk about what, what the atmosphere was like playing uh, at their rink. I mean, the atmosphere is awesome, especially because it's, uh, it seems like a brand new facility. And you go in there and the, the crowd's obviously electric, and especially being Hockey Day in Minnesota, actually, on Saturday, but not Friday. But, you know, the, the crowd was involved in it, and it was, a, it was a pretty cool place to play. They get the power play goal, but a, a big shot here from Chad McDonald to put you back in front by two goals. Yeah, you know, definitely. It's, it's nice to see, you know, sometimes we get some of the puck luck there, some of the bounces. Uh, that haven't been going our way, you know, these past couple weeks, but this game, you know, definitely went in our favor, and obviously you can see it on the scoreboard. Three to two going into the third and final period, and then uh, we'll see uh, you, you get the another big goal uh, coming up here shortly, and uh, that, that'll kind of control it for you. Yeah, no, it was definitely, you know, we come out in the, you know, third, they had some momentum there at the end of the second period, so the intermission couldn't happen at a better time, and then Mackin came out there and gave us, you know, a big two-goal lead. And then obviously here, Nate Callen just threw it in the empty net. But that's nice, you know, kind of put an exclamation mark on our first night of the uh, series. So that was a good start we had. 5-2 win uh, as you win that opening game. Uh, as you're a, a former player, what's it like going uh, after you get a big win like that going into the second night? And, and what's the thinking? I mean, definitely on the road against a good team like this, you, you want to at all, you know, don't want to lose the first night. But especially when you win and, you know, in the fashion we won, it's a great boost to our guys and a great boost to you know the coaching staff knowing hey we can we just beat the top team in our or our conference here and you know we can do it against anybody so definitely going to the second night we had some confidence and stuff like that but it was really it was great to see us you know start putting on some goals instead of you know past we've had you know one zero two goals maybe it was great to see you know that kind of outburst from our offense as you go into the second night uh, Bemidji State comes back and uh, as all good teams do came back uh, with a lot of energy the next night yeah you know they did and it's once again we've had some of these. You had the puck luck the first night. We didn't really have the bounces go our way in the second night. But another play, play there by Jared Van Wormer to uh, Chad McDonald that we worked on a lot in practice, kind of throwing in front of that and being in the right spot. So that was a, a good goal by us. Nice bounce back after they scored early. They got that early goal and you, get, you even it up uh, late in the first. And then uh, here in the second, uh, they'll, they'll go ahead with a, with a big flurry here uh, in the second period. Yeah, you know, it started off with that right there. It wasn't really Darren Smith's fault. You know, the puck kind of hit two or three guys of our own defenders. and. You know, just didn't seem to be going our way there early in the second. You know, our guys fought hard, they, they fought well, but just some of the bounces didn't go our way, and, you know, we hurt ourselves in some aspects, too. Uh, obviously, uh, here uh, down 3 1, but uh, you're getting some opportunities here. Uh, you outshot uh, Bemidji State here in the contest. Yeah, no, we definitely we had a lot of shots. We just got to, you know, first night we capitalized on our opportunities, this night we didn't, you know, for the most part. So, I mean, right there, that's not much anyone can do. That's an ESPN top 10 goal, so <laughs> that's, that's okay. But, uh, 
you know, here that was just a little back checking error we had. You know, guys know what they did wrong, so it's nothing you really have to correct. You just got to make sure you know, hey, this is what did most of the guys in the ice need to know what happened there. So, obviously, uh, most of the scoring in the second period here, third period, uh, played pretty even as uh, you had some opportunities again uh, here on their their goaltender who had a, a great night. Yeah, you know, Bitzer is a great goalie. Obviously, that's why they're you know number one in our conference. He's been an outstanding goalie all year. So. One goal isn't going to cut it against that team. We knew that kind of going into it. So once they came out, and you know, we came out of the second period, they're down 4 1. We wanted to get the first jump. Unfortunately, they scored early. But you know what happens? It's game of hockey. But you know, we, I thought our guys fought pretty hard, you know, especially being down that much. It, we showed some, some good effort there. Justin Kappelmaster came on in net uh, here late in the second, third period, and had another strong showing for you. Yeah, he's been a great freshman goaltender for us. You know, he, he does his job when he gets to the net, especially. You know, the guys play well in front of him. So that's, you know, it's good to see, especially out of a freshman. Final 5-1, obviously, uh, maybe not the outcome you wanted in night number two, but still uh, you get the, the road split, uh, which is always important. Yeah, you know, we always say, you know, you want to you know, sweep at home and split on the road. So that's obviously a good thing, especially against the top team in our conference. You know, it's important that we take that, mo take that as momentum, you know. We move that next week against Bowling Green and then against Michigan Tech two weeks after that. So we just got to make sure we keep building on it and not stay stagnant. That's definitely the main thing. You mentioned Bowling Green this weekend back at home as you take on the Falcons. Uh, big weekend, uh, national TV on Friday night, a, a whiteout, uh, plenty going on, and always nice to play in front of the home fans. Yeah, definitely, you know, especially being a former player, the home, home ice is awesome. You know, nothing better than that, especially when you're in a primetime game. So our boys will definitely come out being ready to go, you know, jump in and hopefully, you know, put a hurt on them pretty early there. Obviously, Bowling Green's been uh, one of the upper level teams in the WCHA here over the past few years. What, what do you expect out of them? Obviously, a hard fought game. If you watch our two teams played in the past, just since I even played, we're very similar in our styles. It's hard nose, it's physical, it's going to be a little dirty at times. But, you know, I think our guys will be up to the task, especially we just got to make sure we stay, you know, disciplined is the main thing and play sound in our own zone and work our way out from there. Obviously, uh, as you look back on your playing career, what, what were some highlights for you as a, as a player during uh, your Bulldog career? Uh, definitely, obviously, went to a Frozen Four my sophomore year, and then you know my, my senior year we went to the uh, Elite Eight and unfortunately lost a double overtime. But um, you know, there's some pretty pretty remarkable moments. I was just you know fortunate enough to be a part of this university and part of the team, and you know obviously I thank the coaching staff and as well as Perk and everyone for giving me a chance to come here. But it's, it was a blessing, and you know I had a blast. Obviously, now I'm back. Can't get out of this place, that's for sure. But uh, no, I've had a great time here, and you know, I'm really looking forward to the rest of the year too. As a coach now, what do you try to uh, pass on to some of the, the current players and instill in them uh, as you look back on your career? Some of the, you know, I try and pass on is you know being a former player, and so recently, especially, you know, a lot of times I've been through some hardships and you know troublesome past there, you know, during the years, and you know, not necessarily knowing what's going wrong. So I just try and you know confront the guys and say, hey, you know, just be a little voice of reasoning there, you know, try and. Be, get them a little more view of the player side of things, and same thing with the coaching staff. I try and offer them a little, a little points, point of views from you know as a recent player, you know, kind of what it's like. So, obviously, uh, the Bulldogs right here uh, at this point of the year uh, still battling for playoff position. Uh, what what are some of the goals as you go down through this final month of the regular season? The main thing we got to do is just you know try and score some more goals. You know, it seems pretty obvious, but we just got to make sure we capitalize on some of our chances there, and you know keep playing well defensively. We got two really good goalies, and if we can you know put a good team in front of them, we should be able to you know start climbing the rankings here in, in our conference and. You know, hopefully, obviously, still there's still home playoff ice available. You know, this weekend will be huge against the Bowling Green team that's got home ice right now. So if we can come out and you know get a sweep or get something, you know, get some momentum here, we can obviously make a push for the final final part of the season here. And Justin, thanks for being with us. Best of luck to the Bulldogs Friday and Saturday uh, here at the Avery Levin Ice Arena. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.